Howdy guys, let's have a look at Manjaro. It's an Arch-based distro with a focus on offering the latest software released and being robust and stable. Now, there's a few versions of Manjaro, three official GNOME, KDE and XFCE, but today we'll be looking at the Cinnamon Community Edition. One thing that stands out in Manjaro for me is branding. Their logo and styling always look so good, just like the boot up screen. And this continues on with the live CD as well. I should say I've tried both the Sway Community Edition and the official XFCE Edition, and the consistent branding and polish showed through in all of them. Okay, let's get started with the install. So, given that this is a Cinnamon system, some comparisons with Linux Mint may happen. I do think that is the Cinnamon distro to beat. I'm hoping Manjaro will be a Linux Mint for slightly more adventurous users who like to experiment with their Linux. I'm going to go with no Office Suite, but it's good to know that's an option rather than have it installed by default. Helps reduce bloat. Oh my goodness. Now, if you watch this channel, you know I love my install screens. This animation has got to be one of the best. Nice work, Manjaro. All right, we are in the installed system and first impressions are that I love the color scheme and aesthetics. And I also really like this welcome screen. It has a list of applications which can be ticked to install. It's not a full blown list or anything, more like a featured list of applications under a category. It's something that will be very useful if you want to just get up and running with your normal list of apps. So this desktop UI is both polished and quite customizable. We have a nice set of widgets in the bottom panel. Cinnamon has a very familiar setup if you are from Windows. Just click your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth or whatever really to add or change its settings. The panel itself is also reasonably customizable. Cinnamon, I think, lies in that midway point between GNOME and KDE. It's more customizable than GNOME without getting too much like KDE can sometimes be. The application menu is also one of the best. I like the categorizations and also the quick launch buttons for logging out and the control panel access. Now the applications themselves are a little different if you're from Linux Mint world. I did miss the driver and hardware management tools that Mint came with. There's a nice selection of wallpapers with Manjaro and they are edition specific as well. So you get a different set of images for XFCE and GNOME and in this case, Cinnamon. I think this sort of attention to detail and branding really set Manjaro apart, not just as an arch distro, but even across the board. Something that's been bothering me is the alignment of these two desktop icons. They should just be the same distance from the top edge as they are from the left. Excuse me while I be pedantic for a bit. Cinnamon also has desktop widgets called Desklets, so let's see if we can get a nice clock added. Maybe a slightly nicer one.
Okay, let's check out some of the applications that Manjaro comes with. And the first thing I noticed is the default web browser isn't Firefox, it's actually Vivaldi. That's interesting. Vivaldi is quite attractive and reasonably light and worth a look over Firefox. There's also Time Shift, which is sort of similar to Time Machine if you're from the Mac world. It creates snapshots of your system and lets you revert back to it should anything bad happen that bricks your installation. The Cinnamon Control Center is also solid and it lets you configure your system pretty easily without having to drop into the command line. Manjaro also adds a few tools of its own. I was especially grateful for the proprietary driver tool. It's not as easy to use as the one on Linux Mint, but definitely does the job. Manjaro comes with one of the best file browsers in Linux land, Nemo. Let's see how themes look with Nemo opened up. There's a simplified and advanced version of theming. Of course, we are going with advanced. Look at all these options. This is one of the areas that Cinnamon shines, I think. It really sets itself apart from GNOME in terms of out-of-the-box appearance modifications and a bit easier to do than on KDE. All right, we are into the meat of it. One of the reasons you would move to an Arch Linux-based distro is the package release system. On Arch, you essentially get access to the latest and greatest package updates, unlike a distro like Linux Mint, which is Ubuntu-based and thereby Debian-based, meaning it only allows robust, well-tested packages, which can be a bit behind. With Manjaro, you don't get access to the entire Arch rolling release package system. It's best to call it a curated rolling release distro. So think Arch Linux, but maybe a couple of months behind for stability sake. As for Parmec, the actual package management UI, it's quite well made and ticks all the right boxes. There's automatic updates, which switched on literally as soon as my first boot. The interface isn't flashy and I've seen better, but it gets the job done. All right, guys, Manjaro, I'm impressed. I've tried a few Arch-based distros and Manjaro is hands down the easiest to use and the one I'd most likely use as my daily driver. It could be a little tricky as your first Linux distro if you are moving from Windows or Mac, but worth the effort. If you've tested the Linux waters with something like Mint or Pop OS and want to go deeper down the rabbit hole, I can't recommend Manjaro highly enough. Also, this installer is the best I've seen. I mean, come on. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more Linux. Until next time.